welcome to the Champion Cardio Fit Test. I'm going to go through the exercises and then we're going to give it all we got, right? It's six exercises and we're starting with high knees. You can do them with a rope if you've got one. It's a tiny bit harder than doing it without a rope. So, with the rope, it looks like this. As fast as you can, knees high, chest up, and let your shoulders down. If you don't have the rope, you can do it easily without. Just shoulders down, chest up, and lift your knees as high as you can. Second exercise is mountain climbers. You're gonna get down to the floor in a semi-plank precision. And then you're gonna switch legs like this as fast as you can. Beginners can uh, do it like this. Gives you more support and it's not that intense. Third exercise, kick-ups. <clears throat> Again, down to the floor in a crab position. That means you have the, your back down towards the floor. You're standing on all fours. Extend one leg and then you're gonna jump up and switch legs like this. Do this as fast as you can, the 30, minute, uh, 30 seconds that you have to work. If you're a beginner, you're just going to extend one leg and then you're going to lift your hips as high as you can and switch leg. Switch. If you need to, you can put your butt down in the ground in between each switch. So, like this, put your butt down, switch your leg up, lift, put your butt down, switch, extend your other leg, lift, and so on. Fourth exercise, dynamic jack. Start in an upright position, chest up, shoulders down, and feet together. This is your starting position. Now you're going to jump out and touch the ground with one hand like this. Again, chest up. Keep your chest up at all times. And then jump back together. Up like this. And then touch the floor with your other hand. Try landing on your heels before you're landing on, uh, so that you can roll out <coughs> on your feet. So, land on your heels so that you're landing softly. Beginners can do this. You just jump a little bit out and you try to reach down as far as you can. It doesn't have to be really far, just make sure your chest is pushed forward. Okay? And then up again. Keep a little low in your knees and back again. Fifth exercise, peak jumps. Again, back on the floor, extend your legs and step a little bit out to the right. Then you're gonna jump over to the other side, like this, and you're doing this as fast as you can. Try jumping high up, but again, if you're a beginner, this absolutely counts. Small jumps like this absolutely counts. So you're jumping as high as you dare and can. Last exercise, jump tuck. You're just standing upright like this. Again, chest up shoulders down. Now you're going to jump up and tuck your knees up as high as you can until you can cut yourself on your thighs like this. 
Do this as fast as you can, as many times as you can, during the 30 seconds that you have to work like this. <laughs> Beginners for jump tuck. You may not be able to tuck your knees up as high, so, and maybe you have knee problems or something that makes sure you can't do this exercise, you still should do this workout. Don't let it stop you. If you have knee problems, do squats, just like this, as far as down as you can go. If your knee hurts, don't go as far as this, just go a little bit down. If your knee doesn't hurt, but you can't jump, then go far down and straight up. Keep your chest up and your shoulders back like this so that your back is really straight all the way down. Okay, <clears throat> I just uh, did the workout. It nearly killed me, oh, but I'm uh, still alive and I got through it. And even though it felt long, it was absolutely worth it. I feel great now that I've done it. So you're gonna go through it and you're gonna feel great afterwards. Okay, you ready for this? You should be, it's great. Okay, good luck.